Hello, this is the Toyota Camroad Leo model, four wheel drive, three litre diesel, four wheel drive model with automatic air conditioning, power steering, power window, and central locking. On this particular model, the Leo has different features to the Camroad. It has the much higher Luton Peak and the much bigger Luton Peak, ideal for people six foot plus. On this particular model today, I'll show you the features of this model, which is a new model and recently arrived. You just see at the rear here of the Leo, we have a storage area, hot water system, reverse camera, ladder to access storage on the roof, external internal storage here, great for a generator storage, hot water system. We also have access here to put on a rear storage hatch. Just at the back here we have the hatch that will let you allow you into the shower area for an inside or outside shower, cassette style toilet. We also have another hatch here for storage under the dinette area of the Leo. Just moving along we have much bigger windows, much wider. The whole vehicle is a height higher, it's 2.980 in height. Just making our way up to the cab area of the vehicle. You'll notice in here the condition is very, very good. It's uh, travelled 112,000 k's. It is, it is automatic, air conditioned, power steering, power window, reverse camera, and the condition in the cab area is absolutely as new. Alloy wheels are a feature on this one, also with the freewheeling hub. It is four wheel drive, a factory four wheel drive. The Leo specialises in the four wheel drive version. And as you can see, the height on the Luton Peak bed is a lot bigger. Making our way around to the cab area and the main motorhome, we have the Fiamma awning. We have Omi step, pull out step. Making our way inside the motorhome, the layout is wide open and very spacious. Just up on the Luton Peak area, we have the double bed. This is on a pull out system. It does make a very large double bed for the nighttime setup and pushes away for daytime when driving or needing the extra space. You'll also see the windows are bigger, giving more room and light. And just making our way around to the side, high thick density upholstery, uh, giving a nice, obviously nice seating and nice comfortable seating. We've got the larger window, plenty of storage in the van, as you can see here. Overhead storage is quite good. We've got the down lights, as factory down lights there. We've got extra lighting and venting in the roof. We've got air conditioning when we're driving, or heating, whatever desired. Down here we've got a wardrobe, lovely space, good space in that wardrobe. Extra storage down here, we've got two extra storages. And finally getting into the shower and toilet area. Large cassette toilet, we've also got a basin in there, the shower area, and we've also got the expeller air and light. Nice area in there. This is where the extra storage for the bedding is stored when we're driving. Extra cupboards up top above the kitchen area, expel the air, more cupboards, lots of storage. We've also got the Smev two burner cooktop, all new there. And we've got a sink with two, uh, two entries for water. This one's for freedom camping, which can be refilled in a jerry can. This one's off the main tank. Great for when you're freedom camping. We've also got more storage below the area here. More storage, we've got our switchboard, 12 volt switchboard for lighting, we've also got our hot water system, and we've got our three-way fridge, which is gas, 12 volt, 240 um, system when we're using that. Double power point there. We've also got down this side of the van a large day bed, fantastic, nice and thick upholstery, uh, very comfortable, which makes up part of the double bed when the dinette folds down. Also lots of overheads above the walk-in area here for more storage, which are fantastic. We've also got, just located as we walk in down here, a Wabesco heater for the cooler nights if desired, and we that runs off diesel, which comes off the main tank of the vehicle. Nice and good for the cooler nights. We've got a full service history from Vantec in Japan. And once again, as I say, the vehicle is located in Brisbane at Northgate, 10 minutes from Brisbane Airport. Anybody interested, uh, we're more than happy to pick them up and test drives can be arranged. Thank you for your time. Enjoy and get out there and enjoy the open spaces that this country 
does provide. Thank you very much.